In this video, I want to show you how you can install my free luminosity masking panel. Um, the new version of the installer uh, supports Photoshop CS6 through CC 2015. Uh, so to install, we simply need to open Photoshop. And then we're going to go back. Uh, this is the file that uh, you would have downloaded. Simply unzip it. And within it, you'll notice there's uh, written instructions on how to install the panel, the uh, license agreement, uh, actions, which if you have uh, something older than CS6, you can use these. I'm not sure how far back they support, probably CS2 or CS3, but I haven't tested them, but should give you another option if the panel doesn't work for you. Uh, the assets are the actual, um, the panel itself, but all you really need is this install luminosity mask panel.jsx bin file. And essentially to install it, simply drag and drop it from here right into Photoshop. It's important that you don't have any uh, photos open when you do that, otherwise you may get an error. So if you do, close any photos and try again, but you'll just simply see this confirmation that the panel did install, hit OK. And at this point, if you try to open the panel, you notice that there's nothing there. You just have to restart Photoshop. So close it, give it a second to uh, finish closing. Then we'll relaunch Photoshop. And once we do that, we'll be able to click on Window Extensions and the new panels in here. And we can now go ahead and move it wherever we want it to be. And just simply, uh, if you open a little test photo here, you'll see that uh, you've got two buttons here. If you click Create Masks, it's doing something. You don't see any activity, and that's because it's creating all the channels here. And you can use the cleanup to get rid of them create to create the channel. So that's that's really all the panel does. It creates and removes the uh, luminosity, luminosity masking channels. Um, the other thing I would like to point out here, I'm going to close this. Uh, when you install, you, you may see this um, file created on your desktop. It just simply is a logging file. In case there was any issue with the installation, this just captures information about it. You can safely delete this file. It has nothing to do with the panel. And once you've installed, um, you know, I would recommend saving a copy of the zip file so you have it, but you can uh, get rid of the install. Everything has now been put uh, into Photoshop and you're ready to go.